What's up guys, Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna have a look at the Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Wide Rider. This is the second member of the team of Stunticons that we have. I have ordered Moro Master, so hopefully I'm gonna get him soon and take a look at some imagining look at Minnesota. So this is Wide Rider, so let's go. So yeah, this guy belongs to a team called Stunticon, you know that. He doesn't do much in the film except for being the left leg of Minnesota. That's how I remember him. Sometimes I even forgot his name. Uh, my bad or to all you G1 fan. So here we have him and clearly this is the same situation as the deluxe class drug strip we have that we have seen before. Minimum coloring, bad coloring because this serve he served another purpose and to be honest that purpose is like basically him transforming into his Lamborghini form and then plug on Minnesota leg. But not even the front, the back. So yeah kind of bad for him over here so this is Hasbro latest interpretation of creating a new Manosaur for us to buy suck on my money Hasbro so what do we got about this guy that is so cool that we need to get him except for Manosaur I'm gonna bring him closer so this guy got something that I call the G1 color syndrome that which is like the era that they throws in any colors to the face except for that it just looked terrible I mean what the fuck is a transformer with a red face you know you got that face humanoid looking face some red some bright some silver on the eyes and especially the eyes they are cool and they don't paint the whole eye they only paint the inside and so he actually does got a light piping so when you shine through, it's like he's having glowing eye, not like his eyes are red. And as you can see, the only parts of his eye are glowing, not like the whole eyes. And to me, this look good. This is, this is like one of the saving points for me about these figures. He actually looks kind of cool, you know? Yeah, kind of cool. And I like that about him. What else to say? You got a chest. This is a painted chest, which is the same as drug strip because like they minimize the paint on these figures anyway. So you got some silver, some black, and some blue, which is really out of context. Of course, there's some mechanical details, and what the fuck is the two screw holes in the middle of him? That's just bad team up. Just cover it, you know? I know that you make this guy to be put in a car to not show in the robot mode, but please, can you give him a little bit of care? I, I don't want to talk bad about your toys, you know? I have talked bad about Transformer toys, and I, I, I really don't want to do that, but they just make me... Uh, and by the way this guy is covered by a like a greenish color scheme uh okay with some red highlight okay this this really giving me a bad trip so i'm gonna skip through this real quick you got a thighs which which is uh gray plastic this go for the same as the hand also and the leg of course is the kind of inwards leg so this is like the back the down section of the car the below section of the car so like no details whatsoever but like if you look at the front you got two holes over here for blocking i mean for weapon storage and that should be it and of course you still got the arms the um you, you, i mean you got one redemption point about the arms is that that red lining here that the metallic black the metallic red just looks brilliant to me otherwise the arm shapes and size looks stupid as fuck it's hollowed you got some paint i mean they just like try to throw it in and one one more thing to complain about this guy this section here i know they try to recreate the old feelings of the toy where you just like pull out the entire front section of the car down but two things do they really need to make this joint i mean like i i got the feeling that they just th they just throw this joint in to make him count like the requirement amounts of joints and steps for a deluxe class figures and if they do that, would they rather be better doing a fix on the glass? I mean, like for every figures, I know that got the same kind of function, like pulling down the hood. You got two joints. The standard now is our two joints. You got one here and one down here. So you can flip it and clean it, not having one dangling out like this. So yeah, this is fucking terrible to me. I know what I paid for, okay? But this is the point where I say that I, I know what I paid for. I paid for this guy to be a part of Manasaur. I don't buy Y Rider. So I can display him as Y Rider. No, I don't need that. I buy Y Rider because I want him to be part of Manasaur. And yeah, I know that I'm putting my expectation too high. But at least, you know, try to make something good out of it. You know, I mean, I know that the same things go for Drug Strip. You know, I bought Drug Strip. But to me, Drug Strip is still a solid figure because he does look better. He still got that one color scheme. He still got that all oh, that G1 looking thingy. But one thing they did right. He looks better than Wild Rider. 
he looks better he he feels better his solid backpack is like nearly free and yeah i mean you get the point now moving on to the articulation so first up we got the head he cannot look up and down though because this is on a mushroom drawing so you all the all the thing you can do you can do is rotation um smooth out rotation block and block you see the point you got a bicep swivel 90 degrees uh, elbow bend this is a transforming hand now got a waist swivel a block kick to, the, kick to the front kick to the back split good by thighs thigh swivel knee bend this is the movement of the feet and you're gonna pivot i mean articulation why i mean he still count into the good good articulation but will you be displaying him as this guy nope you want to transform him into the car and put him on menasol's leg that is what you're going to do so of course you got to accessories and you got the set the set of drug strip which is like to rifle but like worse you mean you have a longer scope but for like drug strip i'm gonna bring in one this connecting part is like actually looking like a clip a magazine or something but here they decide to went back to the old holes and pack so yeah this is what we got but one thing is cool is that the metallic purple i like that yeah so attaching it is like really easy you just gonna plug it onto his hand now he can double shooting double wielding and of course you can combine them into one bigger pistol by just plugging it like this and now he can find two bullets with one hand at once and of course you can store it onto his the back of the leg like this i guess this is for the robot mode and this is just look dumb as fuck i mean like they try their best effort to pull this down but why not bother like drooling any fucking holes over there so they can he can store his weapon in a more decent way ah uh. So yeah, now let's get to transformation. Finish transforming Wild Rider, I must say that this is the mode they went for. Yeah, because this is the mode they're gonna expect you to display him in. So yeah, I'm not surprised. He's a, he got a great vehicle mode, to be honest. The green now looks a lot more aligned. And I love the red lining. Now the whole metallic red is like lining onto the bottom section of the cars. And it just looked great to me. Yeah, I love the silver paint on the wheels. But what the fuck is that? The back wheel, why? They can't all well, make the same wheels. I mean, no, no. This is too much for me. I can't take this. And of course, it's the same thing. You got the clear red pieces, like really nice. And if you flip it around, oh, just look at that, so clean and nice. And you still got that two plugs at the bottom. Right, this is for combining with Menasol, I guess. You also like plug him in like this. Yeah, that should be it. And the two onto this front section here is still used for storing the weapons. So just gonna plug him in that yeah and now he looks like a james bond cars i mean more or less still looks kind of cool and at this mode here you can finally display the decepticon sigil which is painted in really nice what the nice thing i hit it in the robot mode so now for some final comparison is his drug strip and yeah two members three to go can't wait to finish all the rest and i hope that the other the two other the other two deluxe is better than this because i know that motor master is gonna be sweet I hope that the other two are gonna try to learn their name. Gonna be better than War Rider because like they start with drug strip. I thought he would be good. I um I don't expect him too much, but he's good. Then then I got War Rider and I expect him to be good, but then he's not that good. So yeah, it's a bumping ride, just like the standing cone. Oh the irony. So should you get this guy? If you want to complete Menasaur, yeah, you better get this guy. But if not, then don't because he's not that matters in your transformer collections yeah so i think that should be it what do you guys think of him
Will you get this guy? Tell me in the comment section below. So, see you next time, guys. Tonton out.